Hello everybody, it's Shane Head for Pop Sales and PopRVs.com coming to you today from West Monroe, Louisiana. That's right, home of the Duck Dynasty series. Got a really cool find for you today, guys. Very desirable and popular quality travel trailer. This is a 2020, this is the Jayco Eagle HT series model 280 RSOK or RSOC. I know that's a mouthful, but it is famous Jayco quality, 2020 model, just under 36 total feet. It's 35.9, a lot of great features, fantastic floor plan, a lot of amenities, and of course, again, that Jayco quality. This is a four seasons unit, so it does have that sealed underbelly. It's got the outdoor kitchen, the Solera awning, uh, pre-wired for solar. It's got the upgraded power stabilizer jack system. Just a lot to love here. As always, if you have questions about this unit or any other listing you see over on popsales.com, be sure and give us a call at the number you see below in the video. You can also reach out directly to me, Shane Head. I'm the local rep handling this listing. My phone number, 903-293-3851. Again, if you wanna see it in person, make an offer, or if you'd like to get pre-approved for financing, we can help you with all that. Also, there is a link here in the video description that will take you to the full ad over at PopSales or PopRVs.com. There you'll find well over 80 total pictures, lots of detail on every component of the unit, the condition report, uh, and all the manufacturer specifications. From there, you can schedule a showing directly on our website. You can even go ahead and make an offer through our website or just ask general questions. So we'll go ahead and get the walk around going here in a little better detail. Guys, a um, little history on this seller. This is a previous pop seller. I sold a Jayco Eagle bunkhouse model for them a few years ago. They upgraded, got a little bit newer one. They've enjoyed this one the past couple of years. And now that their kids have gotten older, they're transitioning to something else. So it's lightly used. It's in really good shape. The exterior still shows really well. No fading or oxidation. All the graphics still look good. Another nice thing is you have Goodyear uh, tires on here, date codes from 2019, so you still got good life left in those. Again, we got the outdoor kitchen. I'll have pictures of that in the actual um, uh, ad itself. We do have that Solera power awning, but because of this tree branch, I can't open it where it sits. It does have the step above, swing in, adjustable feet steps, really stable platform for entering in the RV. I much prefer that to the standard swing under steps. Aluminum roof access ladder. And again, this is pre-wired for solar. By the way, it does have the WindGuard Air 360 system. Here on your slide out, you do have a slide topper that's in really great condition. Up on the top driver's side, you'll see that WindGuard Air 60 up there on the roof. Single large overhead, 15,000 BTU AC system, fully ducted system. We're approaching 100 degrees here today in North Louisiana, and it is cooling quite well. Large pass-through storage with black tank flush and all of your plumbing hookups. Got pictures of that. It is also pre-wired for a generator. We go right here, your house battery's there. Your control for your generator's already inside. We'll be showing that to you. Power tongue jack, nice LED lights here on the front cap. Jayco just really does build an attractive looking model. Conservative colors, never goes out of style. Quality never goes out of style. We're gonna go ahead and head on into the interior now. You got that swing away, really large swing away entry assist handle. And I really enjoy the interiors of all Jayco models. Particularly these later models, they have really stepped up their game and decor, making everything very modern. You've got a nice blend of textures and colors in here that give this a really, really nice look. Desirable kitchen island, dinette table and chairs. Of course, over in the living room area, you've got your theater style recliners. These are power recliners. You've got heat and USB charging ports all over the place. Out of bed sofa. Furion built-in entertainment center with a flat screen TV. And of course, you've got your Furion entertainment uh, for your Bluetooth 
hooking up HDMI, any other external devices, you, devices you've got zones one and two for sound in and out of the RV. Dual sided stainless steel sink. You've got a Dometic dual system refrigerator freezer. Got a really nice Furion stainless steel three burner cooktop oven. Really sleek high point microwave. Just and these are not solid surface countertops, but they have a nice textured look that really gives it a nice look. Uh, of course, you've got day, you got uh, uh, your day shades, your dimmer switch here on your pendant lights here in the dining area. Nice pantry with an auto light system. Coat closet and more storage here. Vinyl plank flooring, of course, right as you come in the RV, you've got your control center with your tank monitor, slide out controls, thermostats, your pre-wiring, your control for your generator. And then as you come down the hallway, nicely sized bathroom with really pretty backsplash here on the bathroom countertops, nice backlit medicine cabinet. You got a porcelain Dometic toilet, a radius door shower enclosure with a radius or rather a recessed skylight to give you a little extra height. You've got another blue LED light. You do have your heating and cooling vent and a vent fan in here as well. And as we move out of the bathroom down to the front of the camper, your master bedroom, that is the king bed. And by the way, this unit can sleep up to six people, but you've got a nice Serta mattress. You've got nice LED accent lights on both sides of your little nightstand. You've got USB charging ports, overhead reading lamps, smaller flat screen TV already in the RV, and a really nice feature if you wanted to put you a combo washer and dryer in here, a little dark back there, but you're already pre-plumbed and wired to put you a washer dryer in here. Your power outlets are up top. You just remove the shelves, plumb it in, and you're good to go. So if you want to do some full timing or you want to have an extended stay on the road or you just got kids and you need to keep up with laundry, this really would be a great consideration for all of those things. So guys, overall, I'm really liking what I see. Obviously being a 2020 model, we don't see any signs of water intrusion on the walls or ceilings. No weird smells. Certainly has not been smoked in. Everything very clean. So guys, if you wanna see it in person, I don't expect this one to last long. Give us a call at the number below in the screen. Go to our website, check that video, that description out in the video description here or that link rather in that video description to take you over to the website to look at all the pictures. Let us know how we can help. So from West Monroe, Louisiana, for poprvs and popsales.com, Shane Hedson, thanks for watching.